As the 2010s are coming to an end, music fans are starting to look back upon the decade's most important albums, artists and trends. And one of the most common sentiments I hear, both online and in person, is that the 2010s killed rock music. Or as some are calling it, guitar music. As if rock is the only genre that features guitars. Personally, I find this discussion around the death of rock very frustrating. Because we're talking about a genre of music here. Not a living thing. People die. A goldfish you forget to feed dies. Music evolves. Rock is an umbrella term for a bunch of different styles that grew out of rock and roll, which has its roots in blues, country and jazz, which can all be traced back to older forms of African and European folk music, etc. Talking about the birth and death of rock as if there's an actual day one genre is born and another genre dies is so dramatic and a huge oversimplification if you ask me. But still. I do understand where people are coming from. Over the last 30 years or so, hip-hop, R&B and EDM have gradually replaced rock as the driving force of popular music, and in 2019, rock's relevance seems to be at an all-time low, both in terms of commercial viability and the amount of interesting, cutting-edge stuff happening on the more artistic side of things. I mean, mainstream rock has become a total fucking wasteland of bands who should have been long gone by now, bands who completely sell themselves out to the hip-hop and EDM crowd, and bands who just blatantly rip off older bands and styles to give people a cheap nostalgic kick. And to a lesser extent, the same idea applies to the so-called indie scene, where relatively young acts like Fontaine's DC and Snail Mill are creating music that might as well have come out 20 or 30 years ago. And though there are still a lot of new rock bands out there I thoroughly enjoy, like Idols, Pup, Black Midi, Car Seat Headrest, and of course King Gizzard and Lizard Wizard, you could say the same thing for a lot of those groups and I wouldn't argue with it. If you want to hear new, cutting edge sounds and ideas, a genre like hip hop is so much more to offer in my opinion. And the way it's marketed and created feels more off the moment and in tune with modern youth culture, which I think is the main reason it surpassed rock in terms of relevancy. So, does that mean rock is dead or at least dying and there's no future for the genre? No, absolutely not. Just because rock is not the artistic and commercial force it once was doesn't mean it's quote unquote dead. As long as there are people out there listening to rock music, making rock music, the genre will continue to exist. Bands like King Gizzard and Idols might not be topping the charts or anything, but they're doing very well on the live circuit and have a pretty young and passionate cult following, so clearly there's still an audience for quality rock music. The genre is just more of a niche thing now, and honestly, there's nothing wrong with that. Jazz hasn't been a dominant genre within popular music since the 1960s, and there are still a ton of people out there who like jazz, who play jazz, and as a result there are more than enough jazz labels, clubs and festivals to keep the genre going, even if 90% of the population doesn't give a shit about it. And even if, hypothetically speaking, it's 2020 and there isn't a single person on earth who enjoys rock music, does that mean the genre is truly gone? Rock has almost single-handedly ruled popular music for the better half of a century, and during that time it has had such a huge impact on the way we create, consume and think about music and popular culture as a whole that, as far as I'm concerned, it can never truly die. Even if we're not directly listening to rock music, its influence can be felt through the way we dress, the way we act, the way artists perform on stage, the list goes on. That being said, if you consider yourself a fan of rock music and you want to see the genre thrive like it did in previous decades, you should try to find new and exciting bands and try to support them as much as you can. Because a lack of mainstream success and some healthy competition from hip-hop and other genres won't make rock disappear. The absence of an audience will. I'm